I had to follow them. Don't judge me. I just had to follow the exact location of where they are permanently staying at. And I'm just surprised, flabbergasted, just in awe at the fact that this ship has yet again survived another crash. Hey, Navigator. Still assessing extent of damages. Yeah, I bet, since you actually crashed into an actual building, not even the ocean floor. Let me, let me talk to your captain. Captain Ironsides. Our hero returns. What a glorious success. How? True, the mission is not quite complete, but one cannot deny our progress. You call that progress? What the hell? But now you're stuck in a skyscraper. You're no better off than you were. That is yeah. where you are wrong. How? Now we command the high ground. And once the rockets are rebuilt and refueled, I wager at this rate we should land in the ocean in one, perhaps two more launches. My circuits tremble with excitement. Tremble with excitement? Bro. You're lucky if you're able to get another launch, bro. Seriously. There's no way this ship will survive another launch. Oh, ye of little faith. In recognition of your courageous role in this, I hereby promote you to the role of Honorary Lieutenant. And being that I, well, cannot actually fit below decks, I hereby give you the captain's quarters as well. Aww. New Lieutenant, hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! You're the only one who's hooraying, Ironside, but thank you for the hat. I... I appreciate it. Yeah. I... I'm so... shook that they are contempt on calling this success, but you know what? It's time for me and Kate to go. Wow. This place is a shite hole. And here I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. Wow, you have some nerve to talk shit, knowing that you look like shit, Kate. When's the last time you took a shower? Okay, that was uncalled for, I'm so sorry. So I am back at Good Neighbor, and... Well, I'm curious about this radio here. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. What? I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Kent Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. What? <laughs> okay. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, A Slaying in Scully Square. Well, this is interesting. Let me see what I just walked into. I haven't been in here since, well, when we did that thing for Curry. What is this? Wow, whoever has this room is definitely a big fan of the Silver Shroud. And I think I'm meeting the big fan right now. Hi. Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? What do you mean? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12 pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud versus Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? No. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. Damn. And the holiday special. Wow. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. Ken, I got a man. I'm pretty impressed with how dedicated you are to this guy. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? Yeah. Wow. The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was 
in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Vomitable from episode 83! Ha! <laughs> yeah. Something like that. That's Boy, cute. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. That is such an, understatement. an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. I got a question for you. Yeah? What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Hell yeah. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Dead ass can't. the bombs fell. Just for you. They were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. You got a second. I got something I want to say to you. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But yeah, through we all did. that crap, I noticed you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. Didn't we already go through this? You don't owe me a thing. Yeah, it all Kate. starts with two ways of humanity, I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced okay. I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Oh my god, Kate, I'm so sorry. What the hell? Fuck your parents, dead ass. My god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there's more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. Oh, it God. sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. Oh my god. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Fuck. I mean, honestly, what would you really do if your own parents sold you to slavery? Five years being tortured. Possibly physically violated. I mean, it is implied here that she could have been raped, but Oi, damn. We were talking here. I know, I'm just processing this, but fuck it. You did what you had to do. Did I? When yep. I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl? I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. The fuck, Kate? Listen, I know... 
In theory, killing someone is bad, but in all honesty, I could see why you killed your parents, because they never once was your father or mother. They basically breed you and took care of you enough you as a investment, so... <sighs> why judge yourself? My parents sold me into slavery, but did they deserve to die for it? Yeah, I took some hard knocks as I was growing up, but they fed me and kept me from glowing with rats. This is the kind of crap that starts me mind wandering and drives me literally to drink. I guess I'm just waiting to hear what you think of me now. Fuck it. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this, but I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I would have done I, the same. Fuck it. I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. It's okay. We're friends. Look at me. Now you have me blushing. Well, that settles it, I suppose. Friends it is, then. Hope I make you a good one. Otherwise, I'm gonna look right the fool, aren't I? That is pretty brave of Kate to just trust me with not only telling me about her life, but the fact that she confessed to murders. And on all honestly, I mean... Who can blame her? I would have done the same thing, honestly, so fuck it. Let's go and do this whole shroud mystery, yeah? We are here at Hubris Comics and Toys. And in all honestly, I love going to these types of stores. Comic books are one of my favorite things to read. In fact, maybe me and my work wife can come here and... Ammo, do a nice packs. little whatever you find don't forget to share you, i got you bro don't worry kate i'm never gonna gonna not share but yeah in real life though i would be interested in taking my work wife to a comic book shop as a date i'm gonna ask her see if she's interested i have a good feeling we're not alone here so Oh shit, the noises. Fuck! Come on! This is a part of the job that I love. Oh lord, come on. Oh shit, there's too many. There is just too many! Oh lord, have mercy, please. Like, honestly, I just. Come on, Kate. Shit. There goes my arm. Kate, get up, please. We need to do this. We need to get that that shroud costume, at least. Is it up here? Oh, shit! Is it up here? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit! Okay, so this totally is a dead end here. Up here, maybe? Kate! Why are you rushing to go upstairs? Oh, shit. Okay, so both Holy of shit. my arms... Both of my arms are screwed. So where is it? Is it up here? Uh, I don't want no unlocking shit. Oh no, it's a whole bunch, huh? Okay, can I leave? Or is there gonna be a whole bunch of- Oh, fuck. Oh no! Hell no! It's a glowing one! Bro, listen. Just... Let us be, please. Okay, so... Wait, a grown act costume? Perfect. Hell yeah, I'll take that. That's dope. Okay. But we're really here for this. Alright, I definitely gotta go. And... Let's go give this to Ken. Excuse me, this is a silver shroud. There's no such thing as nonsense. There's such thing as detective work. Let's go. 
I'm really excited. I wonder what Kent thinks. Or I wonder what he's going to think once I give him the stuff. Kent. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Of course, here. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. What is I'm it? just not Silver Shroud material. What? I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. Who? You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. <gasps> me? Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. Oh, you know how much Kent. things have fallen? How much we gotta fight for? To make the place better? So you win? Hell yeah, Looks man. Like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here wow. I actually... You know what? I'm gonna wear this. Some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Oh my god. First, I'm the captain of the Minute Man. Then I become the lieutenant of that robot ship. And now... I'm the Silver Shroud. Okay, first of all, I gotta change this. I am so excited. Okay. Alright. Hat. Armor. Okay. Oh, snap. Look at me. Looking all spiffy and shit. Oh, my God. Okay. So, he said that if he found any suspicious activities to tune in. Galaxy. Poor Kate. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode in the parlor of mysteries. Jasmine. Cap Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns, and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered oh, Miss Selmy and her kid over, over a few CIT? lousy caps. They say that's where the Death is coming started. for you, Wayne. Wait, I have to go kill someone? Galaxy! No! Just like Sammy, Radio! Okay, first of all, I guess I'll just kill. Alright, so I assume Wayne is somewhere over here. Oh my goodness. Wayne? Hiding there all by yourself? What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. <laughs> yeah, why are you talking like that? You? Why am I talking like that? Nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. <laughs> you know what, Wayne? Actually, I'm gonna just use my atomic nuke. My fat man. Well, well, Wayne. Looks like you've been dealt with by the Silver Shroud. Anyways. Wow. I did ask one up and kill a man. Do I regret it? Nope, I do not. Galaxy News Radio. Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? 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 It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man.
Okay, what happened? Let me... Great. Wait. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Yeah, I am. Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the now listeners that, about what we're talking some about. Firework show. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's yeah. doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Okay, well, guess what? I found AJ. We ain't the only friends of AJ here. You follow? And I'll make sure I take hey, all y'all down. Look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today yeah, I'm done. Face the silver shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. Nope. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! Seems like you're making a lot of trouble for something that isn't our business. Shut up, Kate. you. Waste the free. Come on, Kate. I know you like fighting. I don't know why you want to act like you don't want to get into this. All right. Get up, Kate. Feels a lot better. Thanks. You're welcome. And honestly, I actually like this sh Silver Shroud mission. This is hilarious as fuck. All right. Let's see what's next. Galaxy News Radio. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel, Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. All right, it's time for us to go to the third rail. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. I am loving your suit, my boy. You're looking hella sharp. I've never been here before, so... Ooh. See you looking round the corner. Oh, a singer. Is that a silver shroud costume? <laughs> hey, ain't no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? And that's why you have no hair. You need to have a conversation. He's in the back room. Leave me alone. You sure? Yeah. I was gonna offer you a job. Pays pretty well, too. I might be interested in that. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. Danger? No thanks. Well, you know your own business. If you change your mind, look me up at Cabot House, Beacon Hill. Ask for Edward Deegan. Okay, cool. I just came here to talk to this guy. 
right way for paying customers. Look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud! Yeah, I'm done. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Kendra. The Shroud, then? Well, I'm nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business there. Good luck. Say no more. Let's go. Kendra's about to get a cap in her ass. That's for sure. Yo, I love this mission. It's my favorite. We're here at the Wall Street Apartments. Oh. Is that... Here and shit. That's one. Uh, uh, That's two. Kendra, where your bitch ass at? That's three. Kendra. You must be Kendra. And I'm you, so eager to die. you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Look at you and your cute little metaphors. You have taken your last life, villain. You still my name. Alrighty, now have fun. <laughs> oh no, she's one of those that eats up my nukes. What the hell? My toy is better than yours, Kendra. Oh, I'm more than okay. Okay, so my head it hurts. My arm is hurting. But she's dead, so... I'm Gucci. There you go. Oh, shit. Kate! Hold on. Kate, are you okay? Please tell me you're okay. Piss me off. Kate, where you at, girl? Just you good? Yeah, he's dead. Let's go. Go back to good neighbor. Okay, so let me see what's on the radio this time. Galaxy News. Another special update. No. It wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Hancock? Galaxy News! Radio. Okay, I'll go and see what Hancock wants. By the way, if you don't know who Hancock is, he's the mayor of Good Neighbor. Big shitstorm at Bunker Hill, huh? As long as the Institute took a licking, I'm happy. I'm happy too. I mean, I'm pretty good at, you know, giving out licks. Oh my god, I don't know how to climb up these stairs. Okay, so Hancock. Wow, you really like drugs, That's I can what tell. Someone tells me. Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is... ill. I am the cure! You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud herself, I guess. Walked right out of a comic book. Priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the getup? 
Many have sought to pierce the shroud. To no avail. You just don't stop. <laughs> Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own, Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Ha! Sinjin thinks he's above judgment. I can't no get over the way she's talking. The silver like... shroud! Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin. And I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Hell yeah! Let's go kill Smiling Kate and Northy. Mwahaha! I don't know the guts to attack the Brotherhood.